Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Dr. Jamie Weiner, psychologist and co-founder of Inheriting Wisdom. It's a consultancy for high net worth families. He's joining us to discuss his book, The Quest for Legitimacy, How Children of Prominent Families Discover Their Unique Place in the World, and a little bit about what inspired him to write the book. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Weiner. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's my pleasure to be here. When it comes to high net worth families, what types of family is a high net worth family? You know, it's a great a great question. I think about this really in, in two ways. One is obviously the amount of wealth. And I define that by when somebody hits a point that there's enough wealth so they can be passed on from one generation to the next. It's a little bit different for everybody and a little bit different every other culture. But I also um, think about it in terms of the prominence, the the role of distinction that somebody has in the community. Once that role of distinction, that level of wealth has been established, sure, that's something that, that you accomplished. Maybe, you know, you and your partner, you and your spouse accomplished, but you've got... Uh, as you said, generations that are coming. Is it a challenge to instill in those to follow to maintain that uh, wealth or that status in the community? Is is that a a major challenge for parents? Yeah, and I think it's important to understand both for the parents and for those coming up in families like that, that it's kind of a two-edged sword. That on one hand, it's a tremendous opportunity but that wealth and achievement in particular, which is what we, we found out through the interviews that we did of rising gen from around the globe, is also something that um, requires this, uh, uh, creates a sense of struggling to measure up. Now, I heard you mention rising gen. Uh, in Land of the Giants, what are some of the challenges that, that members of the rising gen face? The research we did discovered that there was a a pattern for the rising gen that began with um, a period of being aware of being different, um, led to a period of um, feeling betwixt and uh, between, uh, kind of a tug of war between the values you've been brought up in and the values you begin to see in the world followed by a period of exploration where somebody is a little bit further from the um, dominance of the culture that they were brought up in and is now struggling to figure out their own identity um, with some pretty big models to live up to and then beginning to figure out how to define oneself, which um, allows them to make choices to be uh, take on an active role within um, the role of their parents or the family or to become more powerful in how they interact and feel they have agency in the world. That's really a quest that we discover that the rising gen go through. So basically, even as it occurs in, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, non-non- high net worth families, there are rites of passage, rituals or or events where you make that decision. If we've been seeing some of the behaviors over the you know last few decades of some of the children of these high net worth families, some of them seem to get stuck in this rite of passage, this uh, quest, as you say. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's an assumption when we talk about um, the children of high net worth families, the children of prominent families, that um, that they're born into a world of opportunity and that they have no struggles. And they do have struggles. And um, if you can imagine, as um, one of the people we interviewed said, when he looked in the mirror, he always saw the image of what he, his father wanted him to be, um, who was a very successful and very prominent consultant. 
and st instead of the accomplishments that he had in made, and um, and made it hard for him to move forward with his life. In your book, The Quest for Legitimacy, How Children of Prominent Families Discover Their Unique Place in the World, talk about how the parents, uh, their knowledge and their understanding of the world can be imparted onto their children or, or their grandchildren when things change so rapidly. And legitimacy changes its face as well. Yeah, you mentioned the term rites of passage. And rites of passage comes from... Um, a period of um, when the world was very different than what we think about now. And for parents raising children in this world, they're going to raise children who are part of a global world. Um, and the pandemic um, was clear evidence about it because all of a sudden, even in the interviews we did, we were interviewing from around the globe. So preparing children and children preparing themselves is a very different challenge than it's been before. And it requires parents to be able to figure out how to be there, but to leave room for the rising gem to discover, to explore. And it requires the rising gem to recognize that they have unique challenges and that they're on a quest and that they need to struggle in, in order to form their, their um, identity. Discuss how living, I, I guess, for lack of a better term, living in the shadows of the successes of your other family members can cause a, a bit of anxiety. And how do you navigate that as a parent or a mentor when you're trying to impart these values so that generations to come can benefit from what you've accomplished? You know, I think part of it is, that the, the generation that's raising the next generation needs to be aware that no matter whether they say to the, the generation rising up, you can do whatever you want to do, they set a standard that is hard to live up to. Um, the feeling of not being enough. And it's important to have a pretty honest conversation to open up the way to, to um, discussing what it's like, to, to understand the experience, and to be open to the possibility, as we experienced recently, that somebody in the rising gen may feel that um, growing up around wealth is um, a problem. As we were told about a week ago, that by one rising gen family member whose mother was sitting in the room, that she was picked on for having wealth and felt um, pointed out in a way that was tremendously uncomfortable for her. Give us a website where we can learn more and where we can also get a copy of your, your latest book, uh, The Quest for Legitimacy, How Children of Prominent Families Discover Their Unique Place in the World, if you would. I would love to. So... The book is available everywhere the books are sold and is on Kindle. And the website is questforlegitimacy.com. And um, I encourage people to sign up on the website so that they know about all of the podcasts and other things that we're doing. The doctor, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us here this morning on Health Professional Radio. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to speak again. Thank you, Howard. I hope so. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Jamie Weiner, psychologist and co-founder of Inheriting Wisdom. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.